<laughs> yeah, it's early. It's early, I know. It's okay. I just wanted to get a bit of flavor of what's going on. This is behind the scenes, uh, what you can see currently. I was going to be setting up the DJ booth. I'll talk, talk to you in a minute anyway. But hello to everybody. Let me just um, flash some of these up on the screen. Do that first. You read that, all right? I'm just, I'll show you what's going on in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't forget to say hi in the comments, by the way. Let me know where you're from, who you are. Rich says he's keen to know what's the plan this evening then. Well, you'll know very shortly. Uh, trust me, I will reveal all very, very soon. But uh, let's go back to the, the other camera. And put that up there as well. <laughs> yep, all works. Dry your lights. Uh, no doubt you can hear a lot of stuff that's going on in the background. That's because I'm out on my roof terrace broadcasting live to you lot um, for the first time this year on the terrace. Anyway, it's going to be one of many, hopefully, when this is all completed. Um, but, um, yeah, what time are we on? 58. So we fool everybody and start the countdown timer early. <laughs> what say you? Uh, hey, well, you know where I am from. Hey, well, you know where I'm from, says Rich. Yeah, Exeter in Devon. And, you know, you, you, you would have been more than welcome to come down and, um, and help me broadcast this, uh, this thing that we're doing tonight. <laughs> but, um, yeah, try and organize it for another Monday. I, I know this is Tuesday. I know I get it. I get it. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's start that countdown, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, a very warm welcome to the show. My name is Paul Weber and this is Love Audio Production. Uh, not one of my normal streams uh, because we're not indoors tonight. We are broadcasting live from the roof terrace of uh, the new apartment. And um, there's a very good reason for that uh, in that um, I was supposed to be receiving a set of Electra Voice um, uh, ZLX200 subwoofer speakers for my DJ set. 
and they were supposed to arrive five days ago. So I planned the live stream for last night at eight o'clock, doing an unboxing and all that kind of jazz. And everybody was looking forward to it. And, um, you know, we would have done it out here as well, which would have been really cool. And that would annoy the neighbors. Um, because we would have had the, uh, the, the you know, the, the music cranked up, would have put some epidemic sound stuff through it and everything else. But good old TNT uh, picked it up from Leeds and then transported it partway down the country to near Ashby de la Zouche in Leicestershire. And that's where it stayed for about two days. Then it was transported to Exeter, uh, where Rich Vibes is from. And then it stayed for two days. <laughs> I, I even offered to go and pick it up. And they said, nope, can't do that. Not allowed to. Wasn't allowed to contact the courier. The courier had to be contacted via the people that I bought it from. Um, they got absolutely nowhere as regards to, to getting information. The app was telling me that it had been delivered today. Had been delivered today. Proof of... You know, you click on the button that says, or oh, proof of delivery. Yeah, go on then. Go on then. <laughs> no, nope. nothing at all. And, uh, and then it said something like um, partial delivery, um, time constraints prevented the rest of the delivery. Uh, recovery is in operation. What the heck does that mean? You know, and I'm completely in the dark and I don't know what the hell's going on. So anyway, long story short, I've given them till tomorrow lunchtime at 12 noon to deliver the goods to my door here. Uh, otherwise, I'm cancelling the order. And, you know, it's no small order. The order's worth over a thousand pounds. So, you know, they need to get their finger out and get that stuff to me by midday tomorrow. Otherwise, it's going back, whether it arrives or not. Do you know what I mean? So after midday tomorrow, if it's not here, the whole order is going back. Simple as that. Name, name and shame, Paul. Name and shame. <laughs> well, I did. You know, it's TNT. It's fault. I, I'm, I'm not blaming the, um, the company I bought it from because it's not their fault. They've used um, a so-called reputable uh, courier service to get the stuff to me. However, it turns out that somebody has really dropped the ball between Leeds and Cornwall. Um, you know, a total distance of maybe three, four hundred miles. So, uh, oh yeah, by the way, this afternoon, I, I, I get a message on the app, uh, the TNT app, that says it's in Bodmin, which is in Cornwall, but it's like 50 odd miles from here, up on the moors and stuff, right? And, and you know, I would have even driven to go and get it. If I knew where it was, and I knew it was okay to do it, I'd have literally driven up there and got it, brought them back. You know, two subwoofer speakers and the poles that join the, the top end speakers to the subwoofers. So. And that's what the whole unboxing thing was going to be about yesterday evening at eight o'clock. So I'm sorry if you were looking forward to that. I really am. Um, and so tonight, instead of cancelling the stream, I thought, well, you know, let's just get it on and just do a bit of fun streaming. And, and I, I'm not using, let me just swap to my um, uh, NDI camera. Give me two seconds. Let me just um, let me bring that up on screen. Is it, is it working? Yes, it is. Okay, let me just go to that. So let me just show you here. So... What I'm currently, <laughs> this, I was going to set up the DJ stuff, right? So there's the, there's the overhead thing where all the lights hang off, okay? And then you've got, uh, if I zoom in a bit closer, I'm just holding the camera, so my, my apologies if it's shaky cam. Uh, so here what you've got is, I, I brought the, the monitors out. So one, two, this is, this is the YouTube um, software, and this is the vMix software that I'm using here. So this is the preview screen, which is where the other camera is. And this is the other camera, which I'm pointing to there. <laughs> so that's what's picking up that, all right? And then to get any sound through it, I tried to plug it into the, I tried to plug the microphone, which by the way, is plugged into the thing in the rack mount, which is through there, back to the desk, in through the microphone thing, but it was too hot. The, um, uh, the, the signal was too hot through the microphone channel. So I've had to adapt it and bring it in through one of the, um, the channels on the, on the mixing desk here. Look, watch. So if I drop that down, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's where it's coming up. So it's coming up channel four. So I can adjust the bass, middle, and treble of that as well. So that sounds awful, doesn't it? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but in my ear, it's only in mono, but I've monoed it up on the vMix software so that it's coming out of both channels for you guys. So you should be able to hear it in left and right speaker. Um, Rich Vibes says, 
Name and shame, yeah. Well, as I said to you before, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna diss the people that um um you know that uh, that I ordered it from because they're a great company and I've ordered stuff from them before. I ordered that big mixing desk from them before. Um I also managed to hook up the uh, <laughs> this, the stream deck. I was going to use the radio mics, but, but I'm not going to use that now. I've, I've just left them in the packaging. I've even got a lamp under there, shining up at the window in case it gets dark. Kind of a almost like a purple tinge. So that one, I've got a blue one under there as well. Hang on. Where, where did I put it? <laughs> there it is. There's the blue lamp. So that's shining up at the window as well. That's my neighbour's place right next door. And just over there is the Saltash Social Club, which I'm not a member of yet, but I do hope to be. And hopefully I can get some gigs over there as well. It's quite a big place. They do some tribute bands and all that kind of stuff over there, which is really cool. Um, this is the roof terrace that's going to be redone. Um, the chap is away at the moment, unfortunately, so he can't start anything until he gets back. And then he's got to self-isolate for two weeks. So it could be mid-July by the time they start on this. But you can see that... Um, you know, the, the surface of it, they used to have tiles, so they've ripped the tiles up, but it's left behind this kind of black tar residue stuff, and that's an awful thing to get off of my white kitchen tiles, let me tell you. <laughs> um, what else can I tell you? So, yeah, and, and these are the balustrades that are going to go around to replace that wooden stuff that's around the edge. You see that? That's the air conditioning unit for downstairs, the hair salon. That's my lounge window. Um, so from the other side of it, when, when you normally watch me stream, uh, that, that's got a blackout curtain on it currently. It's having some blinds fitted soon, hopefully. Um, like I say, so that's over there. And what I wanted to show you was, if I show you that, you can see in the distance the Tamar Bridge. Just over there, you see past that building? Okay, so that's pretty cool. And um, the view there is, is spectacular. Through that gap in the buildings, and it's, you can't really see it very well, but it's uh, beautiful views over the um, uh, over the hillside over there. So it's pretty cool. Let me just put you back on the stand. Like so, it's kind of roughly there. Yeah, that's cool. So you can see what's going on in the background, and then obviously that's the main screen there, and I can do that as well, uh, which is cool. So you know what I I just you know thought well instead of just cancelling the stream, might as well get you guys on board. If you've got any questions, by the way, with regards to audio production or anything like that. Uh, just throw them at me and I'll see what I can do as regards to answering them. And um, yeah, the, you know, these, these speakers, the Electro Voice ZLX 200s, they pretty much match what I've already got as top end speakers. So the mid range, um, well, it's a full range speaker that I've got. Uh, I would bring it out, but it's too heavy and I can't be bothered currently. <laughs> they would have been out here tonight if, if the subs had arrived. I would have, you know, set everything up as I, as I would have done. Um, you know, for a proper gig, but uh, like I say, it's um, it's not going to happen, not tonight, because uh, I can't see any sign of any TNT or FedEx van. If I turn the camera slightly, you'll be able to see, and I'll zoom in as well, so I'll go this way, and if I turn it to just about there is, is where I can give you the best shot. So stay there a second. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so that's the Tamar Bridge. And you can see the writing at the top there. It says Tamar Bridge 1961. And you can see the amount of traffic on there, even at this time of night, is pretty bad. Because what they're doing is they're resurfacing the bridge. Okay. Um, they are... There we go. That's a better shot, isn't it? Yeah, so they're resurfacing the bridge. And um, uh, so they're, they're stripping the what they call planing each side of it. Um, and then only, only allowing like one set of traffic each way uh, instead of kind of two lanes and things like that. So that does slow things right down. Also, there's a toll bridge right at the end. You can see it in the distance, but it's, it's, it's a toll bridge right at the end. Um, and that's where you pay to get back into Devon, which sounds ludicrous, doesn't it? Um, but, you know, it, that is the way it is. Hang on. Let me just level that up. Okay, that's better. How's that? Is that good? Are we there? That's better. Centralised. Yeah, so, you know, it's nice to be out and about. It, it is nice to be outdoors, and I'm going to be doing a lot more of these as we kind of get through the summer season and stuff like that. Um, but I thought I'd bring you guys out here, um, show you what's local, <laughs> really local. And this is just a great space. Can you imagine this when it's done? You know, lights up and stuff and furniture and 
you know, parties and things, keeping the noise down, obviously, not to annoy the neighbours, because there are a few residential places around here. It's not just um, a high street sort of thing. Uh, but, yeah. Hmm. Pretty cool. Anybody got any questions? Please do talk to me, because I'm, I'm, you know... I'd like to um, get you guys involved, even though I'm just kind of showing you what's going on. Ginger nut biscuit dunked in cold coffee, which there isn't very much left, to be honest. But it is in a Love Audio mug. And if you um, wish to purchase such mug, get yourself over to Teespring. Uh, Spring.com now, they call themselves. Love Audio merch store is where you'll find it. And um, they're very good. Apart from one, which the handle broke, so I had to throw it away. Because I tried to glue it back on and I was halfway through a drink one day and the whole thing fell off. So <laughs> it's not a good idea. Um, but I think it kind of got a bit damaged in transit. But they're normally pretty good. And they do the t-shirts as well, of course. And you can get those in a, a multitude of different colours now. Um, Rich says it's going to be great for barbecues. You're absolutely right. I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't want to cook out here because obviously it's a flat roof. And, you know, I don't want anything to damage underneath. But it is a concrete roof, because this used to be a bank. This was an old bank building. And these were the kind of upstairs offices of that bank. Uh, the cash machine is still at the front of the building. But there's no bank there now, it's just a, a hair salon. And, um, yeah, hang on, let's go back to this screen. Uh, there's a website, by the way, loveaudio.co.uk. Um, there's a contact page there. If you ever want to drop me a line, you can do. Um, go to the contacts page on loveaudio.co.uk. Drop me a message there, and it'll come straight through to my phone. And uh, I'll answer those uh, questions if you have any. Um, but what I was going to say was, um, uh, I completely forgot what I was going to say, to be honest. Yeah, can't remember. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I, I'll probably do a, like what they call an inside-outside barbecue. So I'll cook it in the kitchen um, and then, you know, bring it out and serve it to people and stuff like that, uh, which would be pretty good. Get some furniture out here so, so people can sit down and stuff. Um, but, yeah, really looking forward to it. and. Um, once everything is, is done and dusted, um, I will will be organising a soiree on the roof terrace, providing the weather's like this, because it's just beautiful. It's, it's cooler now, but it's not like cold, cold. Um, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good indeed. I like it. Um, it's only a quarter past eight already. <laughs> it's only a quarter past eight already. No, is it only a quarter past eight? <laughs> Blimey. I thought it was much later than that. What should we do? What should we talk about? I can't talk about audio because I can't, I can't play anything else apart from my voice through this, um, uh, through this mixing desk that I've got here, which is the Denon DJ MC 6000 Mark II. So there you go. <laughs> now you know. Now you're up to date. Um, hang on a second. Uh, it is working, yeah. So I could do this. Love audio! You get a transition to the, <laughs> sort of, you know, like, you know, the way they do the DJ shots where the, the guy's got his hands in the air and like waving at the audience. That's what it feels like stood behind here with the camera behind me. Come on. <laughs> so funny. Well, it's good, doesn't it? You know, considering I took an hour and a half to set it up, inviting the post. Yeah, you wish. So you can tell us what you did today with a new shop. Oh, right. Well, yes and no. I, I don't want to necessarily um, reveal that until it's ready. So um, thanks for the prompt, Rich, but no, not yet. Later. Later, dude. Wait. Go back to that one. Yeah, and... You know, for those for those that know, um, there will be streams from a different location in the town, <laughs> but um, but not just yet, um, because there's nothing in there currently, and um, I need to get that sorted out first. Um, any cleaning? What? Any cleaning? Well, no, not yet. Um, I'm probably going to be doing that. Um, what are we now, Thursday? No, Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, probably going to be spending a bit of time in there. Um, there's a, a good friend of mine who's working on the logo. He did the Love Audio logo, which is this one here you can see. And 
So on everything else and all the branding, he's going to be redoing that slightly to bring out the lettering to make it thicker uh, and just tweaking that for a little bit. Also, he's creating a new logo for the Love Audio Bits, which is the um, uh, audio peripherals like cables and sound cards and stuff like that. So, uh, so watch out for that. That's coming soon. That'll be a new channel as well. And, um, and also, uh, there's a company that I'm very, very um, closely organized in. Is that the right phrase? Closely associated with. That's better. Um, called Tie the Knot Music. And um, we are looking at revamping the logo for that and rebranding it and relaunching it for North and South. So there's so much going on, I can't tell you, but I, you know, one step at a time. Some of this will happen end of June, some of it will happen mid-July. The, the Love Audio Bits thing will happen at the end of July. But of course, between now and then, there's the build-up to it and everything else, so that's pretty cool. What else can I tell you? That's about it, really. There's plenty, plenty going on. <laughs> so, you know, what I would suggest is that you, you um, if you've not already done so, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click the bell as well. Um, and that will alert you as to when I go live next on this channel. And anything to do with a new channel, I'll probably launch on this channel, so that, if, if that makes perfect sense. So, you know, we'll kind of do a, a reveal and all that kind of stuff. And once I've got internet down at the other place, then I'll be moving some of this stuff down, down there as well. So, you know, you, you'll get a better idea. Um, message just flashed up two seconds. Uh, looking forward to some more good news. Okie dokie. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. So, um, got two likes as well. Well done. Give us a give us give us a like. Give us a thumbs up as well. By the way, if you um, if you like today's very impromptu kind of weird Tuesday night stream, <laughs> it, it wasn't meant to be like this. Trust me, it was not meant to be like this. It was meant to be an unboxing, literally an unboxing. You know, cutting the cardboard off of it and all that kind of stuff, and and you know, setting it up, plugging it in and then putting some sounds through it to see what it does. And, you know, it's difficult to show that on a live stream because it's going to be sub-bass and you wouldn't be able to hear it anyway. It would just be distorting and stuff. But, you know, I was looking forward to trying it and, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Dr. Elo's in the house and he's looking. He's like eyeballs left and right. Just wait. I see it first on this one and then it comes up on my little uh, tablet here. I don't know if your eyeballs will show up on the screen. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay because <laughs> uh, emojis don't necessarily show up on the uh, thing. Dr. Elo says, what's going on, my friend? Well, you've joined us a little bit late, so please watch the replay. Um, but yeah, plenty going on. Dr. Elo was meant to be unboxing a couple of large subwoofers today, but they didn't turn up again. It was meant to happen last night as well, and they didn't turn up. Um, it's been five days since they were picked up from their original destination. And, you know, we're not a very large country, as you know, Dr. Elo. We are a fairly small country. And, um, yeah, it's, um, it's frustrating when they can't get a couple of speakers 350 miles in one or two days. So it's been five days so far, and they've got a deadline, an ultimatum I've given them to get them here by midday tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm cancelling the order. And the order's worth £1,000. So, you know, they, they need to get their finger out. Otherwise, it's going back. Simple as that, and I'll order them from somewhere else. Uh, we've got a behind-the-scenes camera here as well, Dr. Elo. So um, this is the kind of DJ shot where, where the crowd will be in front of me over the booth. I'll be going, yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so other than that, I wanted to be able to test those things out here, you see. That's why I'm out on my roof terrace instead of indoors in the studio. Do you see the seagulls flying around? You can't, can you? I hope they don't. I hope they don't crap on me whilst I'm out here. That'd be really embarrassing, wouldn't it? It's supposed to be good luck, but I don't want it to happen. <laughs> Doctor Elo's this amazing setup. <laughs> uh, well, it would be. It would be Doctor Elo if I um. And you know, this is. Seeing as you're a bit late to the stream, let me show you. So what I did instead. I mean, the mixing desk I currently use is in the is in the is in my lounge, which is through there, right? It's on the desk in there. Um, but so what I've done instead is improvised and I've got a, a DJ mixer here and my voice is coming up through that channel there. I did try it through the mic channel but it was coming in too hot. This is a studio microphone so this has got phantom power to it, believe it or not, down this cable 
all the way into there. <laughs> Back to the preamp. I kid you not, this is, this is, how, this is how technical it's been today, right? Um, uh, yeah, back to the preamp. So a lead coming from the preamp to the mixer and then in, into one of the channels on the mixer, but it's mono. But I've monoed it up in vMix, which is in here. This is my vMix setup. I brought the screens out and, you know, anchored them to the desk there with that clamp. The camera is the Sony A5100. It's on the stand there, and that's the picture you can see from that one. Okay. Um, what else? So that's the monitor with, um, with YouTube on it. That's the messages coming in from yourselves, which is brilliant. And I've got a couple of lights as well, just to kind of give it a bit of ambience as, as the, uh, the night gets a bit darker. This is the Saltash Social Club in the distance. Two big buildings there. And right over there, Dr. Elo, is the Tamar Bridge in the distance. That's the top of it there. There's a whole lot of traffic going across it, which you can't really see at the moment. But anyway, the, the, the side road is down there and the, the high street is kind of that direction. I, can't, I don't want to cross over because there's loads of wires here and I don't want to trip over the wires. Um, but yeah, you know, you get, you get the rough idea. There's a car going past. There he goes. <laughs> so this is my roof terrace, but the, the, um, I was saying earlier on, Dr. Elo, that the, uh, the roof terrace is going to be resurfaced. And then these, these uh, railings, obviously that you can see that's broken, supposed to be two railings all the way around. That's going to be replaced by this stuff. There's a gate there as well. That's an air conditioning unit for downstairs, the hair salon. Um, so yeah, it's all coming together. But not today. And, uh, you know, disappointing because we couldn't have the, the speakers tested uh, today, which was uh, the whole idea of yesterday's stream. Quick break. <laughs> And um, yeah, so I've got a, vo a, a noise gate across the, um, the microphone, so I hope it sounds okay. This is obviously the, the Marshall um, MXL 2001. That sounds much better, doesn't it, actually? But it, there's no pop shield on it, so if I, if I P and F, you can hear that. But actually, it's not too bad, so um, let's leave it like that. Yeah, so this is the uh, uh, condenser mic. And like I say, it's getting 48 volt phantom power, believe it or not, from the Behringer preamp which is in the in the other room in the rack <laughs> and we've got cables everywhere honestly my um my lounge looks like something out of a concert you know with cables everywhere you know it's just so funny um dr elo says sounds great thank you so much young man thank you very much indeed what was i watching of your streams the other day um you were talking about the five the five rules of um Five rules of live streaming, or the five do's and don'ts of live streaming, I think it was. I can't remember exactly the title, but um, yeah, very interesting. Well done. Uh, if you haven't checked out Dr. Elo's channel, by the way, get on, the, get on there and have a look at it. Dr. Elo, you'll find him. And um, also Rich Vibes is here. He's on uh, YouTube, Mixcloud, and Facebook, and everything else under that guise. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if there's anybody else in the house, please do say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's so funny. But um, yeah, there we go. So, you know, it's going to be a shorter stream than it was. I started a little bit earlier and uh, I'm going to be finishing earlier because I, I can't think of anything else to say. Um, other than as soon as the, if they do turn up tomorrow, if they do turn up tomorrow, I may well jump on and do an impromptu stream of unboxing said speakers. But that's only if they turn up. They've got a deadline of midday and I, I can't see them delivering it before midday um, because I've heard absolutely nothing from them you know it's just it's just kept in the dark all right I've got a lot of boy racers around here by the way and and they need to get their exhausts fixed <laughs> shush I'm trying to do a live stream here what do you think this is racetrack I've just seen that car go across the bridge and that's the noise it was making amazing <laughs> Seagulls, can you hear that? There's tons of them here, honestly. I've got pigeons, I've got seagulls, not much else. 
<clears throat> uh, but anyway, there we go. So um, that's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else to let you know about other than, um, like I say, if they do arrive tomorrow by midday, then I will jump on and we'll do a live unboxing of those speakers, the ElectroVoice uh, ZLX 200s, uh, the, um, the sub bass speakers, which would be pretty cool. And uh, do it out here so I can annoy the neighbors. Uh, the stream's current bit rate, 108.69. Wow, 10,000 kilobits per second is higher than the recommended bit rate. So? <laughs> I've got good internet. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? What does, what, what does YouTube want you to do? You know, they moan if you give them too little bit rate. And they moan if, they, if you give them too much. What's going on? Anyway, there we go. Uh, that's almost it, folks. I'm going to say cheerio. Um, but it's been really good to hang out with you. Thanks for sticking around for as long as you have done. <laughs> uh, if you're watching this on the playback, uh, that's a good thing, right? Uh, says Rich. Yeah, I think so. Uh, that's a good thing, right? Uh, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, that the, the, the bit rate is good. Um but sometimes they whinge because you give them too much and they can't cope with it. I don't know. Um, it's all right on the replay, but, you know, on the live stream, they, they like, to, like to keep it down about 7,000 kilobits per second, I think. Between 7 and 10. But I'm just over 10, so um, and my upload is 35, 36. Uh, downloads about 400, which is cool. Never happy, like the missus. <laughs> Rich, that's terrible. <clears throat> Never happy. Like the messes. Charming. Hang on, wait, wait for that to disappear. There he is. Wait, what? There you go. Never happy. Like I got one. <laughs> you shouldn't say things like that. You'll get one one day. Um, so, yeah, um, like I say, keep in touch. Uh, make sure you subscribe and click the, um, click the bell. That'll let you know if I'm going to be live tomorrow as well. Three days in a row. That's, no, wait, it would have been three days in a row if I did yesterday, but no. You know, today and possibly tomorrow at, at or before midday, if, if they turn up. Um, I've got wardrobes being put together tomorrow, so I can't go anywhere. So I'm, I'm going to be stuck here until, <laughs> until they finish that and until the speakers arrive, if they arrive. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, it's been great to hang out with you, as I say, and um, I look forward to seeing you hopefully on a stream soon don't forget matt haas oh no no it's tuesday isn't it That's, that was yesterday <laughs> who goes live tonight then tuesday nights can't remember john venturini goes live on tuesdays isn't he tuesdays thursdays maybe anyway try and catch one of those guys if you can um i'm gonna say good night and go indoors and take all this lot down gradually till it, before it goes dark before it starts raining um, so anyway, look after yourselves, guys. Take care and stay safe. Bye for now.